You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Keep busy, keep busy. Come on, guys, keep it moving, let's go. We cross the midpoint in round one. Oh, strong punch there by Volkanovski. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put it in the Hall of Fame or something. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Volkanovski gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Ooh, blocks the shot. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Instead, a swing and a miss by Connor. Right hook to the body. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice jab by McGregor. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Volkanovski's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Fifteen seconds. Boom. Round two coming up next. All right, let's check out. Round two now is upon us. Conor McGregor versus Alexander Volkanovski. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now. In his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndondi. And you know he still haven't found Alex Overeem's head. 27 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. While not the most efficient effort today, the numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Alexander Volkanovsky. Punch is blocked. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in his fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Volkanovski gets touched by that kick there. Beautiful straight punch there by Volkanovski. Nice hook there by Volkanovski. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Effective strike there. A beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, so there's the end. You ready? You ready? Let's go, fight. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip to that leg kick. That strike blocked by McGregor. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. 60 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And connecting with just a three. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Punch coming, it's blocked. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Volkanovski's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Volkanovski gets hit with a kick. Oh, straight right. Oh! He needs to start looking for ways now because he's got it hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Way to hide that leg kick. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Seconds winding down in round three. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. And what a round! 
right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those. You ready? You ready? Go, go. Doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's, he's seeing everything up. Gets up again here, but hurt him. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one. Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Charles Oliveira. Are you ready? Are you ready? So you see that a lot of times with wrestlers versus grapplers, right? The wrestler gets on top, he's got the strong base and the grappler can't move him. He ends up stuck down there, wasting time. He starts to advance position and get grounded by him. And he comes through with a big knee. Punches block. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Big hook. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of the They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. obviously. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands off. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. 26 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and he caught 
the kick. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that? You gotta be so aware defensively. Because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Whiffs on the elbow. That's a big strike right there. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Just missed with the elbow there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oliveira's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his leg in that situation. Big kick land. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Menop. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in that event. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice loop and punch. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, big left hand is good. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Went for the inside leg kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Huge shot there! Oh, what a round! Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked. All right, buckle up. Here we go. Round two. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Charles Oliveira. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh. Straight punch lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the jump. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, that's a nice strike. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence is growing from here. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. 
He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are real close. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, man, that was slick. Let's go, let's go, it's a warning. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. And that one was heavy. Just missed with the straight left hand. One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Massive knee lands from the side point. Straight right hand, no good. One minute now to go in round two. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the... Take him down, cover, take him down, cover. Over and over, he secured this takedown. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes nicely done. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Final seconds here. You oh, like that left hand. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he got entertaining scraps so far. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that. All right, last round. You ready? You ready? The third Let's round go. underway. Big leg kick lands. How good is that right now? Great back. Oliveira gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Nurmagomedov's has got full mount now. Back mount now. Nurmagomedov's right back to the full mount here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Back to the feet now. 100 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, the accuracy not great, DC, landing at a 31% connection rate thus far against Charles Oliveira. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits his takedown. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, got to like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. 
And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up the oh! loss. He's out! He got him! Oh, oh. Just an absolutely 